everybody, Fiber Spider back again with another origami tutorial for you. And today we are going to be making a little candy dish or an anything dish. The point is we are going to be making a little dish. Really cute, very, very simple and practical. Uh, I love the construction, the angles, and it is very, very simple. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so I have my square piece of paper. This is, by the way, six inches square. And I'm going to want the color to be on the sides and on the inside. The alternate color is going to be on the very bottom, so you won't really see it. That being said, I'm going to start with the colored side facing down. And we're going to fold into triangles. Just fold it in half into a triangle. And then we're going to open and do the same thing in the opposite direction. So open and turn and fold. There we go. And then open and flip the piece of paper over and then we're going to fold it in half into rectangles and this is actually going to be the same base that is used in a lot of other origami pieces like the the crane okay and line you up and fold and open and turn and then fold in half the other way. There we go. And then last step for the base, we're going to smush it like this, create sort of a, a star shape and then smoosh flat. So you have two flaps on one side and two on the other. And give it a nice flattening out. Now, if you were doing this as an actual crane, it would be in the opposite order in which we did them so that the colored side would be facing out right now. But we will get there. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. We're making a box, not a crane. I digress. All right, let's keep going. All right, so from this point, we're just gonna be working with this top flap here and folding this point to the opposite point. Yeah, this is where it starts to differ from a lot of other pieces. And then flip it over and do the exact same thing. Just this top flap here. It went a little too far. There we go. Perfect. And then unfold the folds that we just did. Okay. Now, for the next step, it's not exact, you know, a certain specific point. Basically, we have this crease that we just made. We're gonna go just a little bit beyond it. Not terribly much. I wanna say for this dimension, you know, it's six inches square. I wanna say maybe about half an inch over that line, roughly speaking. Like so. Not terribly much. And then flip over your work. And we're going to fold this, this flap down as well. And if you look through, you can sort of see where the other one is. So we can use that as a guide to see just how far down to fold this side. You know, because you want to go for symmetry. Symmetry. 
and there you go. So you can see that they are even. At this point, fold this edge down along the crease that we already made, sort of scooching in that tip as you go. There, like that. And then turn your piece over and do the exact same thing. Voila. And then we have this flap here. So take this flap and then fold it to the one side. Turn your piece over and do the exact same thing. Just one, not two. There we go. Fold this in half there along that crease. So you should have two on one side and two on the other side as far as flaps go or layers. And give it a nice smooshing. Flatten it out. So at this point, what we just did is hidden inside on both sides there. Alrighty. Okay, so again, we're going to be working with these two remaining tips right here. And I like to have them at the bottom. Now again, about half an inch, we're going to fold this tip up, roughly speaking. You know, not terribly much. There you go, like that. Flip your work over and do the exact same thing using the previous crease as a guide as to how much to fold up your tip. There. Voila. All right, now, going to fold these two edges to the center edge, and we will be almost done. So this is sort of a kite fold, but without a tip at the bottom because we kind of eliminated that. There you go. And then the other side. So that is one side done, and we have to do the same thing on the other side. So flip your work, this edge and this edge to the center. And the only guesswork is when you're doing the tips. So like I said, roughly about half an inch, quarter of an inch-ish. So you just sort of eyeball it, and it's not a huge deal. And there we go. All right, so we are almost done. At this point, we have these two flaps at the front and the back. So the, the front flap, fold it down so that it's along this point and this point where my thumbs are. So just fold it straight down. There we are. And then turn your work over and do the exact same thing. Okay, then unfold these. Now, this next step, not entirely necessary, but I find that it really helps when we're going to be opening up the box. If you fold this triangle down along this edge here, both ways towards you, and then we will open it up and do the exact opposite way, I find that it does help. So give it a good crease, and then open it. 
turn it over, and then do the same thing. And you will see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Okay, open it up. And then refold these flaps down where they were. Now, the next part seems like it's really tricky, but it's not that bad. We're going to be folding the tip of this inside underneath these flaps here. These little guys here. So just take it slow. You can do it using the edge here. Rest it on that edge and pinch and then work from there. There you go. It's tucked in there nice and secure. Turn your work and do the exact same thing. So give it a little pinch when you get it down there flush, like so. Work your way over and pinch as you go. Ta -da! And then we get to open this. All right, so for opening this box, and I know it does not look like a box at the moment, I, I realize that. Um, it does help if you sort of Make sure that these flaps don't pop out. If they do, you can pop them back in again. It's not a big deal. Just sort of open it up a little bit. Insert your fingers and press out. My flap is trying to unflap itself. There you go. Get those corners and push down. Pushing inside and down, and there you go. And of course, the uh, triangle crease that we did before, it helps with this crease edge here as far as the bottom shape. And there you go. Ready for filling with whatever sort of goodies you might have on hand, uh, safety pins, buttons, Sweets. <laughs> Gotta have the sweets. And there you go. Alrighty, my dears. So that concludes today's tutorial on how to make an origami candy dish box container. You know, uh, <laughs> I really hope that you liked the video. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation as always. And tell me, what are you going to put into your box? Until next time, you know what to do. I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay folding fabulous fun and functional things, stay safe, take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.